Hello. Today, we are making our otter from FF14. The shape for the otter can be a bit tricky, so I created a visual guide on the left to help make things clear. First, let's use our core wall and create the shape shown on the left side. This Ara Otter took me over five hours to make, and I did my best to condense the video. Feel free to pause the video and rewatch any sections using the timestamps. Once happy with the shape, cover it with grey fibre. We will be using a lot of grey for the otter. Make sure you have enough. Keep stabbing until whole thing is smooth. Add some fiber to the butt area to create a curve. Now make the legs. Make the other leg. Make sure they are the same size. Now the feet. Make one long cylinder shape and then cut it in half one for each leg. Open up the fibre for easy attachment. We can attach both legs now. Add some fiber around to smooth out the transition. Wrap more grey around the head. Add some fibre to the face. If you are wondering why I have two felting pens and constantly switching them, it's because I use one to hold the coarse needles, the other one for the fine needles. Create the belly. should look something like this. Work on the white part on the body. Create a flat oval shape and pay attention to the size. Start from the edge first.
Add more white if need to fix up the edges. Make the face longer by adding more white. The face should look something like this. Grab black fiber to make two eyes. The eye should be at the edge of the grey line and slightly touching the white. The eyes can be smaller. Reduce the size by felting the edges inward at around 45 degree. Grab tiny bit of white for eye details. The nose now. A pinch of black for the mouth. I'm trying out new way of adding line with needle pins. First pin the middle, then add more pins as you curve the line. Twist the fiber for clean line. Stab a little bit if it starts moving away from pin. Looking good, let's stab it now. Cut off the extra. Improve the shape. Make a round shape, then cut it in half for two ears. Attach both ears. Make the arms now. Focus on the tip first and keep rotating it to keep the shape round. Cut off the end if it's too long.
Make another arm and make sure they are the same size. Do not attach this arm yet. We need to make it hold the lantern later. Just use needle pin to pin it for now. The head is too short. Let's fix it by adding more grey. Better. The nose is slightly big. Let's reduce the size. Grab more grey for the tail. Focus on the tip to make it pointy and keep rotating it to make the shape round. Open the fibre up so it's easier to attach the tail. Use green to make the hat. Please make the hat much larger than it's shown on the video. I made the hat too small and I increased the hat length off camera. Sorry about that. I don't have a lot of green, so I just used some leftover green to get the shape first. Cover it with our preferred green. Just keep stabbing until whole thing is firm and flat. Trim it into a circle. I add a little pad at the middle to make the hat taller so it doesn't block the otter's face too much. Make some cut to make it look like the lotus leaf. Firm up the edges like this. Clean up the edges by stabbing like this. Wear finger gloves to prevent stabbing yourself. Here is the bigger hat I made. The idea is the same so it should be easy. Wrap the hat around the felting mat and stab like this to make the hat bend slightly. The lantern now. First make a sphere shape. Keep rotating it while felting. It should become evenly round. Hold it next to Otter for size comparison. Once the shape looks good, cover it with yellow fibre. Grab orange and make the details on the lantern. looks good. Use black to create two small cylinders. Attach it by stabbing vertically.
Make another one, but don't need to attach this one yet. You will see why later. Grab a pipe cleaner and shave off the fur. Don't have to shave all the way. I just estimate how long I need. Wrap black fiber around the shaven parts of the pipe cleaner. Wrap tightly or they won't stick. Put some glue on it. Any glue should be fine. Rub it all around the pipe cleaner. I tried to insert the pipe cleaner through the lantern, but it didn't work. Instead we can sandwich the pipe cleaner between the two pieces. Make sure the length is enough, then we can attach it. Add some more fibre on top of it to strengthen it. Give one or two twists. Looking good. We can attach the lantern to left arm now. Cut off the parts we don't need. Open a hole and wiggle a bit to make it looser. Insert until we don't see the white fur. Stab it to strengthen it. Add more grey to hide the white. We can attach the arm now. Almost done. I forgot the add black to the ears. Let's do it now. Measure the length for the whiskers. Cut four of them. Shave off all the fur on them. Wrap white fiber around the pipe cleaners. Add glue so they don't come off. Do it for all four of them. Stab holes to insert the whiskers. Too much glue, be careful. Have trouble inserting this one. Didn't wrap the end tight enough and the face is deferred. Went in eventually, but keep an eye out. Add more fiber around the whiskers to smooth out the areas and make the whiskers stay better. Our aura otter is done now. I decide to keep the otter and the hat as two pieces, but you can decide if you want to attach them together. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please like, share and subscribe to help me make more needle felting tutorials. See you in the next video.